Hello. I'm going to show you how to make a very fast, quick, and simple cheesecake without baking it. First, we need some supplies like cream cheese. Now, I prefer Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't know, I just like it better. All right, so Philadelphia cream cheese. You need whip topping. I got Cool Whip, my favorite also. You need cinnamon. And you need sugar. These items will be the basics of it. But we're not going to just make a regular ch cheesecake. We're going to make a pumpkin cheesecake. All right? So, normally we make pumpkin pie with this, but this is going to be an instant cheesecake. All right. Now, I already opened up the cream cheese. Let's see, it's empty. Came in a little package like this. And I put it into the bowl and I started smashing it up, breaking it up. Now we need to add four tablespoons of sugar. Right. So tablespoons, T B S P. Four tablespoons of sugar. One. Two. Four. Four tablespoons of sugar. Alright, go ahead and start mixing it up. Okay, now we need one uh one eighth, one eighth, one, one fourth of cinnamon. One Let's see if I have, to, else if you have the proper tools. All right. Actually, one fourth is two sixteenths. I'll do it the old fashioned way when my grandmother taught me to do it. She did her. I like to add a little. All right, now we need to add in. So we got cinnamon, we got sugar, we got uh, cream cheese. Ooh, we got the pumpkin. The can opener. And I want this to have a lot of pumpkin taste. It says you need one cup of pumpkin. This is a little bit more than a cup of pumpkin. I wanted to have that nice, strong pumpkin taste to it. Cinnamon to it. 
This is actually cinnamon sugar. That's what this is, cinnamon sugar. I'll also add some of this on the top of it after it's done. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Now that you added pumpkin, the cream cheese is a little easier to mix. The last thing we're adding is the Cool Whip. One reason is it will get really sloppy. And I hope you wash your hands. You should wear an apron. <coughs> I don't have an apron, so all I want to get my clothes a little messy. But that's why they wash washing machines. Soap and water. Wash the clothes. Okay, now here we go. Also, if you find a ripping point. This is what Cool Whip looks like on the inside. Now, it came frozen, but I stuck it in the refrigerator for a couple hours to let it, try to let it thaw out. I want it nice and rich and thick. Like right there, my cool up. Oh no, my spoon's dirty. Mmm, yummy. All right, mix this together. Mix, 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 mix. Now there's another way of doing it. Instead of uh, adding sour cream, they'll give it a nice tartness. I like that too, but I forgot to buy sour cream and I realized today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, because I'm making this for Thanksgiving. So I'm not gonna use the sour cream. I use a, I used a different recipe, that's why I had a I had to write it down because I'm using a different recipe than I know by heart. Like I said, this is kind of an instant style cheesecake. It's starting to get that pink, pinkish look. You want to check the sides and see. Oh, look, it's still thick. You want to make sure you get it all mixed up. Get it off the sides. All right, now you got this all mixed up together. And you go get the cake pan or the pie pan. I don't have a pie pan. I was thinking of something, doing something a little different. Vanilla wafers. And little pans. So, because I want to give this to some friends, and let them come and instead of cutting the, the cake or cutting the pie and give them a piece, they could just grab one of these little ones. And like I said, I'm gonna use, I bought this from home from America, these vanilla wafers. You can use graham crackers, which you can buy here in China, graham crackers, or other type of crackers, because they're not so sweet. 
All right, the other wafers are not really that big. In fact, if you look at this, it doesn't actually cover the whole bottom. Uh, I could take these, smash them up, take some butter, then put them together and make a whole de decoration inside, and then pour this. Take some. this but it's not that it's not that pretty now what they recommended was taking a plastic bag Taking the plastic bag, okay. and usually we have a type of cookie thing, so you just cut the cut the end off, put the cookie thing on. Once you fill it up, the bag up, you take it and you squeeze it a little over it, and it'll make it look a whole lot nice and prettier. Or like I said, <coughs> just get a pie shell, pour it all into the pie shell, and then once you're done with that, you will. Dun -dun -dun, Stick it into the refrigerator. And yes, Teacher Bill's refrigerator is messy. And let it sit there for a couple hours for it to harden. And then you are done making your instant cheesecake. Now I hope you give it a try. Like I said, I am making a pumpkin instant cheesecake. Have fun with it. The great thing about cooking is you can take recipes. Like I said, I pulled this recipe off the computer. Let's go take a look at it. And that's the recipe they had. So have fun with it. Thank you for joining Bill at Bill's Cooking Class.